What's going on my fellow dogs? Today I'm going to make a, this is another tier list video. Uh, I'm going to make a tier list based on all of the Mario Party games, all the console Mario Party games, and all the handheld Mario Party games. So, uh, I'm going to do it by the list that I'm seeing right now. Um, I really wish it's in order. I guess we'll do them in order. Who knows? I don't know the order of the Mario Parties on the handheld, so we'll do all the console ones first, and then the handhelds in order. I know the handhelds in order for sure. First up we have is the very first Mario Party game. This is going in B tier. You gotta give respect to the first Mario Party game. I know, personally, I don't have a lot of... I don't really like this one out of all the N64 Mario Party games, but this is the first in the series, so you gotta give respect to that. Next up is Mario Party 2. This is an easy S tier. I feel like the mini games and boards are all so creative, and they really took the right step in the direction in terms of this. I gotta say that this is definitely the best... Of one of the best of the N64 ones, in my opinion. So, yeah. Next up is Mario Party 3. Uh, this... I'm gonna put this in A tier. I like this game a lot. I know some people really do. Uh, but some people do give a lot of hate on it for some reason. I feel like the mini games in Mario Party 3 are really fun. But there's a lot of hard ones to me, so I don't know. But this is definitely a, cool, a fun game, I gotta say. Next up is Mario Party 4. This might be seem ridiculously high, but I'm going to put this in S tier. This is my favorite among the GameCube Mario Parties, but but again, I feel like that there's a lot to this game that makes it so good to me. And there's just something special about it that was that fun, honestly. Next up is Mario Party 5. Unfortunately, this is just going to go in D tier. This is the worst out of all the GameCube Mario Parties, and everyone agrees that this is the worst out of all the GameCube Mario Parties. So... Yeah, putting this D tier is probably necessary. Next up we have is Mario Party 6. You guys might be yelling at me, but this is going in B tier. I don't have a lot of history of 6 because I didn't play it growing up and stuff, and then I did play it. It's just, I don't know. There's something about it that just doesn't, that, something about it just doesn't make me enjoy it as much. I don't know. I might be on a loop or something, but 6 is just not my type of game. Next up we have is Mario Party 7. Uh, this is gonna go in the C tier. I feel like this game doesn't really... There's not a lot of new stuff in the game, like, that really makes it this... And, you know, I feel like Seven's a good game, but there's something about it just makes it so meh in some ways. Because it's like, okay, cool, there's characters and all that, and the boards, but... And the 8-player, which is fun, but just gets... It's like, it's not really 8-player, so, yeah. Now, since, uh, I'll go ahead and do, no, let's just go on. Mar Next up we have is Mario Party 8. This might seem high, but I'm going to put this in A tier. This was one of the first Mario Party games. Like, I loved Mario Party 8 uh, in terms of the boards and minigames. I think it was a pretty fun game, actually. If, although, due to motion controls, yes, but I think that uh, it's still a good game in general. Now we're going into the extremely bad Mario Party games. Next up we have is Mario Party 9. This is an easy D tier, unfortunately. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about this game at all. Like, the mini games and boards are okay, but the whole car situation that everybody complained about. I know Nintendo was trying something new with the series, but it wasn't really what everyone hoped, I think. So, yeah. Next up we have is Mario Party 10. This might seem ridiculous. I'm going to put this at C tier. I feel like Mario Party 10 is better than 9 in terms of mini games and the boards. I feel like that Nintendo just got too lazy, although there wasn't Mario Party Online for the first time, which everyone got mad about. But I feel like the Amiibo Party was also cool, and the Bowser Party is really fun. But I think that 10 is definitely better than 9, at least personally to me. I know a lot of people really hate on 10, and I kind of agree with that. Alright, so that's all the console Mario Party games. Now we're moving on to the handhelds. First off, Mario Party Advance. F tier. Easy. I say that this one, uh, you know what, let's just title this, Trash, there we go, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about that white background, Um, but I feel like this this is the worst Mario Party game of all time, and this is the most forgotten and Nintendo also wants to forget about itself. I feel like that the single player, if you really are into that thing, it probably is good for you, but... Compared to the other Mario Party games, it's extremely bad. Next up we have is the most underrated Mario Party game ever, probably. I, I think all of these are underrated, but... <laughs> Mario Party DS. This is an easy A tier. I played this as a little kid, and I enjoyed this game. Every bit of it. It's still such a great game. 
Ah, uh, man, like, I don't know why Nintendo never really referenced this game that much, because it's such a good game, but it's really underrated for what it is. But I feel like DS is probably the best in terms of the handheld Mario Party game, so yeah. Next up is Mario Party Island Tour. This, unfortunately, is going in the D tier. This is another trash Mario Party game that I forgot even exi existed. I didn't get this on release date. I got it. There was It was okay for what... Uh, for what it is, but I feel like all there's just some lacking in a, a lot of multiplayer and stuff. So, like I, the multiplayer is uh, probably the best part of the game, honestly. So, but other than that, the boards are very creative, at least some, right? But it's like some boards you don't even play mid game every turn, and sometimes you won't even play in the, <laughs> in the game. But although some boards are likely, so who knows? Next up we have is yeah, the Mario Party Star Rush. This one, I'm gonna put this in B tier. They put this, they took the step in the right direction with Star Rush, with the stars and the coins, getting more stars to win. I feel like the gameplay was very interesting. It still was a meh lineup, but it was still a, a very like this is where Nintendo actually went in the right direction with this Mario Party. And I gotta say that this one is def Mario Party Star Rush is definitely one of my favorites in the handhelds. So yeah, it's not as good as DS, but it's definitely up there. Next up, Mario Party, the top 100. C tier. Okay, you guys are probably gonna be mad or something, but let me hear you out. Okay, I heard, I know a lot of people don't like this game. There's only one board. I felt like Nintendo went straight up lazy with this one, but there's a hundred minions from the past that Nintendo brought back. There was a lot of interesting ones, like Peak Precision and Bombs Away and Hexagon Heat and the uh, Manic Malice. There's a lot of interesting main games, but we didn't get Dungeon Duos or or other games. Like I, I'm surprised that Tim didn't do like a poll of what mini games everyone likes. At least some like random poll they just pull up and then the, and then make this because it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like better for what mini games were actually be in the game. There's only a few in Mario Party eight, nine, and ten for some reason because there's rarely anything else in the others. So yeah, but it's still a decent game, but. I don't know. I feel like that after you play all the main games and stuff, that's basically it. And last but not least, Mario Party. Or, uh, pfft, Super Mario Party. Jeez. Uh, okay. I'll put this in A tier. This this was the best Mario Party to bring, to bring back. And it's not the best in terms of these two games. Uh, Mario Party 4 and Mario Party 4 and um, 2. But it definitely took the step in the right direction with the whole classic... Mario Party feel that they haven't done in decades. I f last time they did was like 10 years ago. That was a long time ago. Jeez. <laughs> Unless you count Star Rush, but I don't think that counts. So they took the step in the right direction, although there's only like four boards. And the, the main games are fun too. So I, I also like the fact uh, that they, they didn't fix it completely, but at least they're going the right direction of uh, releasing one of the best Mario Parties. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this uh, video, this Mario Party tier list. I want to, I'm going to keep doing more tier lists like this. Um, if you guys want to see more, let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next time for another tier list video. Later, folks.